Good morning! After a fantastic beach stopover with Alex and Amy, we're pushing on round the coast to Cadiz. This is far too big to take on to Gibraltar itself and just outside is a marina that you can park up on it's got all the services even a little cafe from memory it's about four years since we were last there um, but it's a really clean lovely air to get into Gibraltar is a short walk you just cross the the runway for the airport <laughs> it gets closed when aeroplanes are coming in but when it's safe to cross, they lift up the barriers and you just literally walk over the runway. Bonkers. Um, we've had a great day in Gibraltar, not, not this trip, but in the past, um, including monkey attacks and sweating our bits off because it was so, so, so hot. Guys, I don't know a worst timing for a warning light to come up on the dash. We are literally halfway around. We are literally at the furthest point. Um, we're a couple of weeks in, nearly, and we've got a warning light come up on the dash. It's goodness knows what it is, a triangle with an exclamation mark, and I'm pretty sure that's a generic warning light. Oh well, wish us luck. Good evening guys. We spent a wonderful 24 hours with Alex, Amy and Sen at their place on the beach in Spain. It was great, it was good to know, get to know them better. Um, we've spoken for the past 18 months I suppose um, and they felt like friends even though we'd not met them. Anyway we left them this morning and we wanted to push on. We've driven um, an hour and a half further around the coast. Now we was going to stop at Gibraltar, but we've done Gibraltar um, and we need to push on. We, you know, we're keen to get into Portugal now. So um, we were looking for stops along the way and we was up against it. I just wasn't finding anything that was suitable, anything that was interesting. And then I went to my Google Maps. Now what I do in Google Maps, when people recommend a stop to me and that stop it looks to be the kind of thing we're looking for, I'll drop a pin. And if we're in that area, we'll go and check out that stop. So the stop tonight we're at is actually a recommendation from one of you guys. I dropped the pin. Someone said, oh, you should check out. If you're in the area, you should check this campsite out. So I dropped the pin and we're here today. Um, let me tell you what campsite we're at, if I can pronounce it properly. We're at Camping Playa Las Dunas S. Anton. It's not pronounced correctly, but that's what it says on Google Maps anyway. Um, we're here tonight. Um, we checked in earlier, set up a basic pitch. They didn't have a full pitch for us. So we were directed to pull into the overflow car park. I went to reception and she said they didn't have any room, but we were welcome to stay in the overflow car park. Um, so I said, yeah, that'll do us for the night. Just one night, check us in. I think it was 29 euros. So it was very, very reasonable. Um, we parked up, all got changed, so hot, 32 degrees, so we headed down to the pool, and it's a lovely, lovely big pool, and it wasn't too busy today. Um, so we had a great dip in there this afternoon for an hour. Um, I've come back here and I've had to do some video editing. I'm probably three videos behind at the minute, and I really need to catch up. We're halfway through the holiday almost, and I just need to keep on top of it. I'm shooting a lot of videos, editing a lot of videos, just making sure they're right for you guys. So whilst the guys are playing, I've been doing a lot of video editing today. Um, we're going to move on again tomorrow, um, and probably again the, the day after. So keep the pace going. We're trying to get into Portugal within a couple of days, so then we'd have had two weeks in Spain, and two weeks in Portugal. That's the kind of the current plan that we're winging at the moment. Um, I'm going to do a bit more video editing now, and tomorrow morning I'll get up and take you guys for a look around the campsite because it does look like a lovely campsite. Okay, let's start off with where we are. We're in the parking reception. Uh, we were asked to come here yesterday when we checked in, or when we tried to check in, 
and we parked up as you can see just over there um, when I asked to see if there was a pitch there wasn't so all they offered us was parking <laughs> in this car park here so we chose yeah let's stay we'd been driving for a little bit um, and the boys really wanted a pool you know they haven't had a pool for three days now so um, pool's great though we're gonna have a look at the pool in a minute still get some funny looks walking around talking to this camera like this but anyway on with it um, kids play area have a look at this got a nice little kids play area for the younger kids just here and here's the pool here it's a fantastic pool the pool is huge it's a big campsite but the pool will accommodate that even if it's full I mean it wasn't that busy in here yesterday um, it's a little tired in places um, toilet block over here by the pool for instance looking a bit tired yesterday but they are trying to update the site um, and they're certainly keeping it clean you have guys out here picking litter at the minute and they're just painting the wall so refurbishment seem to be going on on this site all the time so down the back I've just found a lovely um, shaded area under the trees where there seems to be a few caravans and a lot of tents um, nestled in there so that's a lovely little area and more wooded areas in the trees which is really really nice um, what we've got right here is a large toilet block in the center of the site um, it's a big toilet block I can't take you in there I don't have a mask on right now but it is a bit of a walk from us to the toilet block okay they've got this campo area here and it has got some lovely um, tents and what have you with shade in amongst the trees looks fantastic clearly an area of tents that you can rent for your holidays looks lovely down there okay I'd say we're probably the only English ones here we're the only British ones here um, in fact I'd go as far to say this it's predominantly Spanish um, and predominantly season pitches as well um, most people are in here for the season um, they've got big awning set up and yeah there's not many kind of one day two day tourists here certainly not in the summer anyway things probably different in the winter I know they are in Spain so the pool doesn't really open to 11 o'clock at most of these sites um, uh, this one at least doesn't close for a siesta in the afternoon it is open all the way through but the kids want to go to the beach this morning so let's go to the beach a little overcast again this morning which is fine this is a cool start to the day they have a shop a supermercado a yuroski Lindsay got some donuts and pastries from there this morning for, bre nice. for breakfast they weren't very nice apparently reception in there and a little restaurant just outside that was quite busy yesterday when we came in it's nice and we're just going to walk across the road to the beach kids play area over there showers on the beach oh this is lovely look with the palm trees and the nice yellow sand having these palm trees on the beach would be a game changer with the sun I'm guessing this is a popular area to hang out just to hide from the sun in the shadow of the trees George wants to build sand castles what are we building George the Jedi Council right building the Jedi Council in sand G Georgie what are we doing here uh, we're building an island to put a massive castle on that's <laughs> but the water's gonna wash it away maybe look no, no. the water's much warmer here isn't it it's amazing do you want to go for a swim yeah should we do that let's go and drop these back at mum and go for a little swim shall we and see if mum wants to come too okay mummy the water's really warm here do you want to go for a swim okay she's almost finished with the mud oh look at that we're gonna build a probably massive kingdom on it <laughs> we are <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna go for a swim okay i think this beach is called santa maria or well, the port of santa maria glorious like i say it's a little overcast um, but it's still warm i know you can't see that the sun's out but it's still lovely and warm and the sea just glorious and it's nice and shallow goes out gradually so awesome for the kids playing here so what do you think love this is a lovely beach isn't it it's gorgeous absolutely lovely and soft sand 
nice safe shallow water warm i think it's because it's protected as part of the harbour best beach yet i think yeah yes george what have you been building this is like the best sand castle ever is it the best bit of it is the tunnel that goes all the way through the whole hill wow harry and eddie well i, I kind of started it then they were like let's build it through the whole thing so we wow. did uh, come around here we've got loads of houses you know right um fantastic I, i'm gonna call this like a gladiator fighting zone and there's a flag on top of the castle yep that is a flag wow love oh, it cliffside houses <laughs> this one's so rich it's got a bridge up to it wow love it mate well done good morning good morning good morning we are heading towards our last stop in Spain now um, before we start making our way north through Portugal. I've double checked all the requirements and Steve and I should be able to travel with no problems and as we're going overland and we've been in Spain for over two weeks, the boys shouldn't need a PCR test either. We should be able to just enter like the old days. Fingers crossed, we'll see you soon. Bye.